So yeah, hi everybody. Um, I'm Courtney. You probably know me from the Instagrams. I'm not sure where to put my hands to like, there's nothing here right now. Yeah, so I started my bookstagram about, actually about a year ago at this point. It doesn't seem like it's been that long. Um, I started it primarily as a way for me to like keep track of what I'm reading and share reviews and recommendations with my friends and family and now my followers. But also because I was a photographer and stylist um, as my first job and I kind of got burnt out and fell out of love with that um, and became a full-time graphic designer instead. And so I honestly abandoned my camera for about two years after um, all of this happened. And so I also wanted to use this as an excuse to like get my camera out of my camera bag and actually use it and learn to enjoy it again. And that's been incredible. Um, this year has been amazing because I have grown as a photographer. It's honestly a skill that if you don't use, you do kind of lose it. Um, so it's been great to like stretch that muscle again. So I will still be doing the, the Instagram every day. Um, it is my number one love when it comes to the book community is a bookstagram. And so I will not be abandoning that. Um, but I have honestly been struggling with the best way to give long form content to my followers. I and mean, when I say long form content, I mean things like reviews because I am not naturally a writer. It is something I struggle with. It takes me a long time. I'm trying to get better at it. But between working full time, owning a small business, and then also trying to actually read books, um, it's hard for me to find time to actually dedicate to sitting down and writing a review. I mean, I say that and I'm like supposed to be sitting down writing a review right now and instead I'm recording this video. <laughs> um, so it's gonna be late night that way. But anyway, I put out a poll on my Instagram stories and was actually really surprised and a little bit disappointed that like almost everybody said that they preferred written reviews over video reviews. Um, I was hoping that that would be an easy way for me to be like, Hey, here's a book or a book tube. Like, there you go. Easy transition. Um, but it doesn't look like it's going to be that seamless because a lot of my followers responded and were pretty adamant about the fact that they prefer written, written reviews. So I'm not going to be abandoning the blog at this time, but also this is partly for me, um, to explore a new medium and find what works best for my schedule and what stresses me out less and what gets me excited about actually like creating content. So I am going to give the video thing a shot. If that's not your thing, totally understand. If nobody watches this, that's fine. I can stop doing it at any point and just stick to the bookstagram and the blog, but who knows? We're going to try it out because there's no harm in, in trying things out. Um, but yeah, so a little bit more about who I am. Um, like I said, I'm Courtney. You probably don't see my face very often because I really don't show my face on my Instagram. But yeah, this is me. Why should you listen to me? I don't know if you should. Um, but no, all joking aside, I started Bookstagram because as my handle suggests, I am an avid reader um, and I'm wanting to become more of a reader but I don't consider myself well read because I haven't really read any of like the major classics like Moby Dick or The Grapes of Wrath. Um, I have read a lot of classics through, through school, like most of us, but like after that, I just stopped enjoying them. So I started the bookstagram as a way to push myself into different genres, which has been really, really awesome. But most of my content does center around uh, fantasy, sci-fi, horror, which honestly, I haven't been into horror very much recently, which is weird because it's literally spooky season. And I don't think I picked up a horror novel. I just haven't been feeling it recently. Uh, but I do really enjoy that as a genre, even though you probably haven't seen that on the page as often. And also just contemporary 
literary fiction and contemporary fiction. And I am a mood reader, so honestly what I read depends entirely on how I'm feeling that day, which is why I read like eight books at a time. Um, it's fine. We're okay. If you enjoy any of those, those genres, um, then this might be the channel for you. I don't know. We're going to try it out. But yeah, what should you expect from this channel? Obviously reviews. Um, that's like I said, the main reason why I started this. Um, I also am excited about like listicles and book recommendation videos. I'm new to booktube. I've been like trying to get on and watch videos and make some friends and follow some channels. Um, so I don't know what this content's going to turn out to be. If you have an idea or if there's something that you'd like to see, please let me know. Um, because ultimately I'm starting this channel for you all, for all of my wonderful followers who have joined me over the last year. Um, and or are, will be joining me in the future. Who knows? But yeah, one thing that I'm excited about, which I thought was a great way to start this channel off with is weekly reading updates. So kind of the idea behind this is just let you guys know what I'm reading, what I just read, um, like five second overview of those things and also like what I just bought because as I'm sure most of you also do, I buy way too many books. My budget hates me. So yeah, so let's kick off this, this first video with my first weekly update. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, this is my pile of books here. Also, this is Dobby. Um, he'll probably just be hanging out and sleeping. He's pretty lazy, but yeah, he'll, he'll be here. There's another dog around here somewhere too. Um, I don't know where she's at, um, probably causing trouble. So anyway, this is my lovely pile of books for today. So we're gonna start with what I just finished. So I've read, I think three books in the last like week or couple weeks. I don't know. I didn't actually check my Goodreads to see when I read them. I just was like, these are the three I've read most recently. Um, and the one I read the longest ago was Almet by Fiona Mosley. Um, this had been on my TBR for forever, but then I saw this edition at the bookstore, which is beautiful and was like, okay, I own this now. Um, so I bought it and I read it and I'm not going to give you guys a super long overview. Um, I'm going to just, cause I will be doing full reviews on all of these, uh, at some point. Um, so I'm just going to give you like the five second download. Um, I really enjoyed this. To be honest, I thought it read like a Quentin Tarantino movie, which is all I'm going to say about this, but yeah, uh, El Met by Fiona Mosley. Um, Second thing I just finished, um, so Tor.com Publishers sent me The Factory Witches of Lowell by C.S. Malrick, which is a super cute novella about um, these young girls who work in a corrupt factory, so they decide to form a union and go on strike using witchcraft. Um, but yeah, honestly, witchcraft as civil disobedience and a super cute queer romance in like less than 120 pages um, is my dream novella. So thank you so much for writing this and thank you so much to our.com publishers for sending me a copy. It comes out November 10th and it's a cute read and it's definitely worth your time. Um, Dobby sleeping on the books now. Last and most recent book I just read, which is actually our Dana Roll Book Club November pick is Americana by Luke Healy. It was my first dive into like an actual graphic novel. I've read like really short graphic novels and comics, um, but I haven't ever read like a full, sat down and read like a full fledged graphic novel. I really enjoyed it. I'm not going to talk a ton about it because we will be doing a podcast episode on it, which we're actually recording tomorrow. You'll get to hear my full thoughts along with the thoughts of my coworker and my husband. Um, so yes, Americana by Lou Healy. Super enjoyable. What I'm reading now, um, I'm going to start with this one actually. So we have a friend's book club. Um, and so this month we're reading the uh, fifth season by N.K. Jemison. I'm really enjoying it. I'm like, ooh little over halfway finish. It's long. It's good long. Um, but it's taking me a while to read because I haven't had a ton of time at night. So I've only been able to read like maybe a couple chapters. I've been trying to get like 50 pages done a day. 
um, which is not a much, so it is taking me a long time, but I am really, 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 really enjoying it. And I can't wait to like read the rest of the series and also to talk with my book club about it because this was like a, kind of an off the wall pick for us. Um, but super excited about it. And like, thank you so much to my friend Petra for recommending it because I'm really enjoying it and I can't wait to see, hear what everybody else has to say. What else did I just start? Um, so I literally last night read like the first 30 pages in uh, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab, who is one of my favorite authors. She wrote my all-time favorite fantasy series, The Shades of Magic series. And I was so excited to hear that she had a new novel coming out. I also have a ton of book of the month credits saved up from Christmas because my family always gets them for me for Christmas. Um, and I hadn't used a ton. So I, when I saw it was a pick, I snagged it um, as quickly as I could and had it sitting on my TBR for a while until finally last night. I was like, no, I don't care if I'm 50% of the way through the fifth season, I'm going to start another book. So I started The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I don't have it because I'm reading it on my Kindle, um, but I also last night decided to start An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. I read A Sorcery of Thorns a while ago, really enjoyed it, and then for some reason just never read An Enchantment of Ravens, so I decided to start that as well. Like, once again, like 20 pages into it. But yeah, I'm super excited because I really like her as an author, um, and like I said, I really enjoyed Sorcery of Thorns. So yeah, I'm kind of reading that like right before I go to bed on my Kindle because why not? Why not read three books at a time? Who cares? Anyway, cool. So now moving on to what I just got. Um, so along with The Invisible Life of Adelaide Rue, I also got uh, Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. I love the Practical Magic series. Um, if you haven't read the Practical Magic series, I highly recommend it. Also, if you're an audiobook listener, I really enjoyed the audiobooks. I listened to The Rules of Magic, which is like the sequel prequel I don't know so if you're not familiar the Practical Magic series works backwards so she released Practical Magic and then before that she released the Rules of Magic which is about the ants in Practical Magic and now she's released uh, Magic Lessons which is about Maria Owens which is like the founder of this magical family so I haven't started it yet but I am super excited to dive in because I have a soft spot in my heart for all of the like 90s witchy things like Charmed which I used to watch with my family and Sabrina the Teenage Witch and also the Practical Magic, Practical Magic movie. Um, so yes, definitely highly recommend checking the series out if you haven't. And lastly, I posted about this on Bookstagram but I actually haven't started it. I said I was going to start it in the weekend and then I didn't. I just got Avoid the Day by Jay Kirk which was sent to me by Harper Perennial Publishers for a review. It is supposedly a crazy nonfiction memoir. Helen McDonald, who wrote H's for Hawks and Vesper Flights, um, which is literally sitting right over there because I also has like read a couple of those essays, wrote on the back of it, which honestly caught my attention, that it truly seems to push nonfiction memoir as far as it can go without collapsing it into a scene into a singularity um and i'm at a loss for words you're just going to have to read it and i was like okay helen mcdonald i will thank you so much for the recommendation i love you so it's about a guy who goes to transylvania to find a missing manuscript by bella bartok which who is a composer and gets obsessed with one of his pieces of music the uh, cantana profana and meanwhile, his father is dying. So he has like a psychotic episode where he then somehow ends up on an Arctic cruise filming a secret horror movie with a documentary filmmaker. And apparently it's just supposed to be like surrealist fiction meets actual nonfiction. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm so excited. I just actually have to sit down and start reading this which I'm super lazy about doing, but I'm going to do it eventually. But I am really excited. So yeah, 
yeah, that is what I bought, what I am reading and what I just finished. Um, like I said, as I finish all of these things, we'll be posting reviews for all of the books that I talked about that I had read, the ones that I'm reading. And yeah, so that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've watched this, and I look forward to seeing more of you guys. So, bye.